Of course, as you've heard by now, the victim's son, James Winchester, is a long snapper for the Kansas City and Chiefs. And today, the team sending their condolences to him and his family. 41 Action Sports Director Frank Bull is in the newsroom now with what else Andy Reid had to say today. Yeah, guys, this is really a tough situation. The Winchester family is hurting, obviously, and the Chiefs family is hurting, too. In those situations, you got to go. I mean, family's number one, and, and uh, uh, this thing, th this is important in our lives, but not like that. So um, he, he left right away and, and went, went down there um, to Oklahoma City and uh, took it, he's taking care of business there. So. Just sent him a text and just told him we're thinking about him. I didn't want to talk to him too much because it's, it's a tough time. You know, I don't really want to talk to him about it. But I just left it at that and just let him know if he need anything. I'm here to talk to him along with a lot of the guys on the team as well. So we're all here for him. Like, we're a team. We're a team. So, um, but we treat it as family. So. Andy Reid said today to let James spend as much time as possible with his family and as much time as he needs, but did not rule out the possibility he could play Sunday against Tampa Bay. If he does not, either fullback Anthony Sherman or tight end Travis Kelsey will handle, uh, handle Winchester's long snapper duties. Kevin? All right, Frank, thank you. Of course, we'll be covering the Chiefs every step of the way as they get ready for Sunday's game at game set for noon at Arrowhead against Tampa Bay.